Making complex ideas, processes, explanations understandable to people outside your area of expertise can be a real challenge. And you might get criticised for dumbing down or trivialising the topic. But that's not what you're trying to do, of course. You're just trying to make it accessible to different people. And that is possible, but it just needs some thought. You need to think about what language you can use, what's going to be appropriate for the people you're talking to. And you also need to think about what are you not going to say? Maybe we don't need to go into great detail and precision about the topic in order to give an understanding of what we're talking about. In any presentation, consider two really important things. Firstly, what is your message? What is it that you're trying to get across? Is it a call to action? Is it some information? Are you raising awareness about something? What are you trying to do? And secondly, who is your audience? Who are you talking to? And both of those things will give you some idea of what kind of level of detail you need to provide in your talk. Clearly, if you're talking to a group of young children, it's a waste of everybody's time to go into great detail and use expansive jargon about your topic. If you're talking to people with a basic understanding of the topic already, you can start with them and lead them into more depth. So understand those two things is, is really critical. We can start by giving the big picture. In journalism, writers use a technique called the inverted pyramid. So the headline captures the story in just a few words. You can see straight away exactly what's happening. And as we read down the article, we'll find a little bit more detail coming through and more and more as we go further. And readers just decide how far they'll go. Some will only read the first line, others the whole article. So in your presentation, of course, you decide. Are you just going to give them the headline or are you going to lead them further down the article and give them more detail as you go through? And you can decide where to draw that line depending on what your audience is like. Remember, in science, those details are critical, but your audience isn't trying to replicate your experiment and reproduce your results. They just want to know kind of what you did and why and what you found out. So that's all we need to say. So remember those key things. Be clear about your message. Understand your audience. Give them the abstract without being abstract.